Five fishermen, one just seven years old, have reeled in the catch of a lifetime, netting a whopping 121 kilogram tuna. The mammoth catch could be a record for the waters of Phillip Island. Off the coast of Phillip Island, a father-son fishing trip turned into a six-hour battle with a beast from the deep blue. So cool. On Friday afternoon, Josh Stoll and his seven-year-old son Ryder had hooked a bluefin tuna so big they had to call for backup. I'm going to get there in the dark, but um, he's got no hope by himself. It's going to be a bit of an epic adventure. They arrived after two and a half hours. Oh, I'm glad to see you, son. So I reckon Cass has been on board for about 20 minutes now, and. Uh, Light is fading, but um, they're putting some hard yards. I've actually had this fish up probably within 10 metres of the boat. Uh, they went down solid and they're just trying to change the angle on it now. And we're just uh, wondering how they're going to go with just the two boys. But um, I reckon they'll be alright. He has to see his fair share of big fish. How close is he? Fish is close. The boys are telling me. I can see it. I can see the fish. Oh, there he is. No, no. Keep going. Three and a half hours of this fish now. They just had the wind on the reel. The fish was six foot from the boat. It's an absolute beast. We've got such a good look at it. They probably had it up to the boat three or four times, went under the boat, passed it in some big reversing, and the uh, fish is gone again. Now it's 100 metres away, but um, we've seen it. It's a massive, massive southern bluefin tuna. The update is five and a half hours, and we've made the decision to up the button. Uh, we've just got, I can hear seals jumping everywhere. Uh, we've gone up over the button. He's using a Tiagra 50 wide, 37 kilo line, and he's even doing a bit of wicked tuna style there, as you can probably see. He's trying to get a really chance on his knees. He's absolutely shattered. Uh, we can hear whales spouting around us, and we've just picked up about five more knots of breeze. So we're going hard. We're very close, but we're not there yet. Right, on the wheel, right on the wheel, steer wheel. Love the gas right up. It's an adventure. We all love a good adventure. That's a good angle, he's coming up. Yes, it's just there. It's just there. Wait till he comes around. Yes, look at him! Slow and steady, mate. You're doing a great job. He's just under the boat. I can see him. They're about to get him. They're about to get him. Done. 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 Yes! Well done, boys. The official weigh-in, 121.65 kilos. Bigger than Dad. I reckon it's probably in the top three biggest southern bluefin tuna ever caught off Phillip Island. Like, it is not one in a million, it's one in ten million. Days later, the fishermen still can't believe the almighty feat. It was just amazing. We had seals punching through the water all around us. We could hear whales in the background spouting. We could see the tuna under the boat that was bait. The ocean was alive. It was the first one I've caught, so it's probably one of the best memories I'll ever have, especially to do it with my son next to me. And it's not just about the feeling, but feeding. 
a fantastic reward for these fishermen who've proved themselves the real deal. It's yum. Yeah. And it also tastes really good raw. Georgia Love for 10 News First. What a catch. Well, this is the massive beast that these guys caught last night. It is about to get filleted and a lot of families are going to be very happy. Josh, you actually saw this thing eat the lure. You're on the boat with your little boy in Bass Strait. What were you thinking? Oh, mate, I didn't even really know what was going on at the start. I just seen him come up, eat the long rigger, and then um, it was just game on since then. I got young fella to pretty much help clear the deck, man. And then, um, yeah, Ray and Chris told him that we were on because he was, said he was still out. Never in your wildest dreams could you hope to hook a fish like this off Phillip Island. A fisherman, we all go out hoping, but this is like, what, one in a million? Oh, yeah, it's pretty, I don't know, it still feels like a dream, eh? And obviously you'd love to let this fish go, but there's a bigger twist to this tail. Yeah, the twist is, man, it come up with a, it was tail wrap day, so we didn't have really too much choice, even if we wanted to let it go, like we planned on it, but it pretty much come up dead nearly at the end, so. It's so amazing, the lure fell out of the fish's mouth, come down, the hook went around the tail and grabbed the line. There was no hook in this fish, but it's very hard to pull a big fish towards the boat when it's hooked by the tail. And that's why after six and a half hours, this thing was still doing 20 knots. It's incredible, the most epic tail ever. This young boy will never forget it. Now, Chris, you're in charge of knocking off the fillets. It's come up. It's come up straight away. It's not a. That's a gold in Tree Valley. Sitting on top of the water. That's crazy. Is that normal? Uh, no. No. <laughs> but then again, anything that happens when you're fishing is normal. You just never know what to expect. That's bizarre. What a beautiful little fish. Yeah, it's coming straight at us. That's oh, a nice fish. But I'll hold your rod for you. Mm -hmm. If you can lean over and reach. Yeah. Beautiful, mate. Uh, no spikes on him, so you're very safe. <laughs> and that is a gold trail. You see the, the rubbery lips on the front? Yeah. They go along mooching along, picking up crabs and all that sort of stuff. And uh, if you actually put your finger in there and feel it, just big, soft rubber lips, you've got no teeth at all. I'll take your word for it. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. And see those stripes he's got down his side? Yeah. The juveniles have those stripes as they get bigger and they grow much bigger than this, like well over a metre. Wow. The stripes actually fade and they get really interesting coloured patterns on their backs, like all these black dots and blotches and bits. Wow. And so, oh, oh. Hey, he's just hooked. Made it easy. Well done, mate. Train straight in. Go on. Perfect. There you go. Well done. Oh. And I'm on. Oh. Oh, and you're on too, mate? <laughs> I'm on as well, mate. <laughs> Good work. They must when, be thick under this boat, Paul. They are thick. And when you get a situation when you just get incredible fishing, <laughs> it's so good sometimes to do something different. And getting the fly rod out is just awesome fun. You all right, mate? Yep. Watch the hand. Good work. Well done. So. There is my queenie on fly. You can actually see the fly in the corner of the mouth. And I'm just going to bring him up. And you can see the fly in the corner of the mouth as it just slowly disappeared. I like to practice catch and release. 
with environmentally friendly flies. It was all made of fur and feathers. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed him. Yeah, got him. Just set that hook. Oh, I missed him. Yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is just too cool. Fly fishing. You don't have to make it hard work, you just gotta get a fly out there in the water. Ooh, onto the backing. And a fly is just like any other bit of fishing tackle. It's designed to get a fish. To suck it in and make it believe it could be lunch. Oh, shark's right up him, eh? Oh! <laughs> oh, and that is sick. I think the shark, yeah, he's getting away from the shark. Oh, the shark just got him. Oh! <laughs> So, oh my God. That's uh, a cruel world, isn't it, Michael? Still, no, still going. Still coming. The shark's still laughing, but the queen is still there. i got to go quick. I want to get him away from the shark. Come on, mate. If this thing got away from the shark, he is a miracle worker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and he's right there, too. He's got no tail. Oh, no. So what a brutal world. The shark is coming through and eating my queen. He's taking his tail off. <laughs> Did you know what the queen fish said to the shark? Oh, tell me, Paul. He said, my legs, my legs, I can't feel my legs! This is the only microphone we've got because literally it's been raining. So I'm fully mic'd and you're not, but you probably can't talk anyway, can you? No. Nah. <laughs> this is gold, it's a big fish. I think it might be a dewy, mate. Is it a dewy? No, it's a trevally, I think. It's a trevally oh, that kidding? smoked you. Oh. Oh. Good effort, mate. Oh, well, you're getting a fish over here. Get oh, I've got a bite, i got a bite. Oh. <laughs> I dropped him. I had him on, but I dropped him. <laughs> um, I might not have the biggest tent, but I've definitely got the biggest circus. I am locked up here. Right. Oh, stop this thing, whatever it is. Oh, that was the tiniest bite again. Oh, Michael, he's Trevally over there. He's just had to flick it back over the side. And I was just getting small bites like him. And then this thing just went nutso. How's that bend in this rod? Now, you're gonna struggle to hear me, or you may struggle. That's just because I don't have a microphone on. But it's all good. I am getting stretched here. I'm starting to think it may be a trevelyan some description. And we're going around this side now. Paul Laff, what are your thoughts? I'm thinking it's a big fish. Oh, well, let's go with Dewey. That would be nice. A big black Dewey. That would be very nice. How's the way this thing's pulled? Absolutely bent me. Now I've done a full lap of the boat. I have no idea what it is. Or a bit of colour. It looks a bit golden. I'm gonna tell you, I'm glad it took your long time, <laughs> oh, mate. And didn't it take it? It's a juggle. And you got that beautiful Trevally, we didn't even get a look at it, mate. <laughs> How's the difference 10 minutes, mate? Oh. Absolutely buffeting down, wasn't it? Pouring down rain. Oh, there's a bit of colour there. And what I'm doing is using the rod to try and hold it away from the outboard. He's just doing circles. This is a serious Trevally. Look at the size of that, and it's gonna get much bigger very soon when it appears from beneath. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a horse. That is a big brassy trevally. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Holy snapping trevally. Oh, wow. That is absolutely <laughs> epic. How hard did they pull? Oh, God. Woo. If you grab the rod, yes, sir. I'll try and grab the fish. Um, I might need to actually grab him under sure. the hills. Here we go. That. Yes. <laughs> well, they call a real one. Now, 
I don't know if that's a brassy or a GT. I'm going to say brassy, I think. What do you reckon? Brassy. Big brassy. Awesome fish. The weight there is just phenomenal. How's the way it took that line and just went? That's insane. Well, I think it's time for a tea break at the cricket. This one is about two for 22. And my arms are sore. Awesome to catch, but I love letting go. There you go, my friend. There's a little spear. And down he goes. Oh, what a massive fish. 